Well, hello everybody. Welcome back to the channel. Today we are focusing on Black Opal's newest foundation, the Pore Perfecting Liquid Foundation. Okay, it's this right here. We're getting right into it, as you can see. These foundations right here, they just came out with these probably a little over a month ago, I believe, maybe two months, I'm not sure. But around that time, okay? Um, I've had these for probably a few weeks now. So I'm pretty sure they've been out at least two months. Um, I love black opal stick foundations, love them. Um, I have quite a bit in my black opal foundation collection. I don't have a lot of, I don't, I don't have any, I don't have any of their eyeshadows and there are quite a few things I don't have, but I do have um, several of their foundations and powders and things like that. And so I'm gonna be bringing a lot of black opal to you guys. I am not affiliated with the company. I'm not sponsored by the company. Everything that I have that is black opal, I paid for myself, okay? So anyway, the color I'm using is Nutmeg. What I love about this packaging is the pump. This is like the first foundation they have that has a pump. And I'm speaking really loud. I forget that I have a mic on now and I'm speaking super loud, so I need to calm down. All right. What I really love about this foundation's packaging is the bottle. The bottle is a lot more sleek now. It doesn't look like that old school packaging, you know. I have, uh, you know, you know what I'm talking about, that old glass bottle with no pump business. Um, this one here is very nice. I like the fonts even on the foundation is really um, up to date. And the pump, the pump, the pump, the pump. And it's an airless pump, meaning it doesn't have a little tube that comes out. It's airless, okay? So I purchased two shades because online, it looked like Nutmeg was a little light, okay? And so I got beautiful bronze just in case this was a little bit light. I've used it already, guys. I did film a video prior to this and I didn't really like how it turned out. So I can't sit up here and say, oh, this is the first impression. Oh, it's the first time using it. I just wanna show you guys what it looks like on, okay? And maybe even talk about the foundation a bit. So let's get into it. Let's get it on the face, okay? I'm gonna start off by applying this Estee Lauder Double Wear Light to my face. I love using this as a primer sometimes for foundations that may have issue with my fine lines. This foundation does, okay? So I'm going to go ahead and use this underneath. It's very, very light. Estee Lauder just does it for me. This right here is excellent underneath foundations when you really uh, want it to be still, okay? This works out for me. I don't know about you, but for me, I'm using this as a base. You know, the first thing that I put on my face. I already moisturized and everything else. I'm not gonna use a primer. I'm using this as my primer, okay? And it's in the color 5.0. It is not ex my exact color, so it also works out as well. And this is the area where I have the most problems. Um, I'm having a little breakout right now too, so I don't know what's happening. It could be all the different products that I've been trying lately or what, I don't know, or the, or the fact that I'm not drinking enough water. So I'm just kind of rubbing that in around here, okay? All right, so now that I have that applied and I've let it sit on my face for a minute so it can do what it does, all right? Um, it's pretty much set. It was a very thin layer. As you can see, it's very ashy looking because the shade is a bit too uh, yellow and too light for me. It's not enough warmth in there, but um, it's just excellent as, as a primer. I love it, I love it, I love it for certain foundations, okay? So let's get into the foundation. So this foundation uh, helps minimize the appearance of pores. It has a matte finish. It says it has light to medium coverage. Um, it's oil, fragrance, and paraben free. Um, and let's get it on the hand. There you go. You get a really, really generous amount in one pump, you guys. And I didn't even pump it all the way down, but that's a generous pump. I'm gonna do one and a half because like seriously, that's a lot of product. And as you can see, it's, it's, it's not that liquidy. So let's just go ahead and tap it on the face. And this found, this color looks really, really light initially, but once I blend it in and it oxidizes, it really, really deepens up and you'll see how that works out. Cause I was really, really nervous about this not being the right shade. Okay. So um, obviously I'm gonna go ahead and use a beauty blender with this.
Now, I'm not sure if I like, I'm not sure if I like how it's blending out with the Beauty Blender. I think I used this with a brush before the first time. I mean, you may have to work in sections or kind of smooth it over your face prior prior to buffing it out or stamping it out with the Beauty Blender because it's not like moving. It seems like it's starting to kind of set and it's hard to kind of move the product and you gotta move fast to get it blended in, you know what I'm saying? So. Yeah. It didn't really cover this hyperpigmentation that well. So I'm actually gonna go in with one of the Black Opal concealers. I'm gonna go in with this Total Coverage Scar and Spot Eraser. It's a really serious uh, concealer and looks like that. Looks like that, in case you've never seen it before. And I'm gonna squeeze some out. It does come with this little spongy thing, but I never ever use that. I'm just gonna kinda of warm it up. That's the color. It looks a little darker than the foundation, so we'll see. I'm gonna just kinda of tap it in that area. And hopefully it won't be um, too much product in that area. All right, so that helped a little bit. Let us move on because I don't want to have this big layer. I don't have like, I don't want to have like five layers of product in that one little spot. So we're going to move on. So I love how this sets. I really, really do. I love the look of it. It looks really good. It's a very good everyday foundation. I will tell you that right off the top. It is a very good everyday type of foundation. We don't want to do too much, okay? Okay, so since this is a black opal video, I'm gonna go in with this black opal uh, <laughs> concealer. This is a black opal video. I keep, if I say black opal one more time. I'm gonna go in with this concealer. This is their Flawless Perfecting Concealer. Old school, been around forever. I'm gonna go ahead and use this under my eye. This color is in Honey. And I'm just gonna highlight now because I'm gonna finish the remainder of my face in another tutorial. So since this is Black Opal, let's go ahead on and do it. I'm just going to do that. Okay, and this is gonna be my highlight color, obviously. I like this because it is a cream and it's not too drying underneath my eye. Taking the same beauty blender and I'm going to blend that out. All right, so you see how nicely that blends out? Don't underestimate creams, you guys, especially if you have normal to dry skin. Don't underestimate them. They are really, really good products to work with, um, especially for photography and things like that. Really, really nice. So to me, that is a very nice highlight situation. It's not over the top. It's not overdone. It's not crazy. To me, it's a very smooth contrast. It's not like too harsh either way. All right, so I am going to continue on with, okay, so the black opal powders that I have, I'm not gonna use underneath my eye. I'm gonna use something else, which is my Sasha Cosmetics powder right here. Buttercup, yes, did a video on this last year, okay? Um, I also have their Invisible Blocking, uh, Invisible Oil Blocking Powder, okay? <laughs> But this has, I wish there were, the gardeners were not out there. I wish they were not destroying the sound in my video. Like why? It seems like they come like every other day. Like how, how much? Anyways, as you can see, this translucent powder has color to it, you know, which is good. I'm not complaining about that because I feel like we need that. But for the under eye, if you want it to remain bright and warm and yellow, this is not the one. It will change it. It will definitely change the effect. So I'm not going to use that under my eye. I'm going to use that on the remainder of my face. However, I'm going to go in with my Sasha Cosmetics Buttercup Pouta. Pouta. So I'm going to use this um, OCC brush, Obsessive Compulsive Cosmetics. 
going to use that brush and tap that. I'm, I'm just pushing the product in. I'm not brushing it away immediately. I want it to absorb the oils and things like that before I start moving the brush around, okay? Because if you start going, if you go in, you know, doing this, you're going to disturb what you've done. And you're going to mess it up and it's going to look crazy and all that business if you go in and just immediately start <laughs> blending. Let it set first and then brush it away, okay? And you may not even need to brush it away with this powder. Like you can just do this and be like, oh, okay, there's not much left for me to do. And the forehead. So on the remainder of my face, I'm going to go in with the Invisible Oil Blocking Powder. And it is uh, translucent, but it it's translucent with color, y'all. Okay. So yeah, I'm going to take this brush. This is a Shiny Cosmetics brush and one of my favorite powder brushes. I love this shape. <laughs> you can see powder everywhere. I love the shape of this brush. So I'm just going to tap. All right, so the foundation is pretty much set or it is setting right now. I'm going to go ahead and do the remainder of my face. Um, that will be another tutorial, obviously. But this is what the foundation looks like on. Obviously, obviously I'm looking a little flat because there's no dimension in my face. But in my tutorial, I'll fix all that. However, I really, really love this foundation and the way it looks. All right, so I'll come back after I complete my face and kind of give you guys a little spiel on what I think about the foundation and all that, okay? So I will see you in a minute. Hopefully I'm not blurry. I hope I'm not blurry. Why don't I hook this dang old thing up to my monitor? Why do I keep doing that? Okay. So the answer is yes. The answer is yes. I may have already answered it earlier in the video, but the answer is yes to this foundation for me. Only con, only con, only con. Now, I think I kind of, when I overdo the powder, it's just not a good idea for me to overdo the powder set. It's just not, okay? Because I'm having some problems up in this forehead area and I shouldn't be having any problems because I did put some of this on there and that usually keeps that together. But this foundation does settle in fine lines, y'all. If you have fine lines and you have an issue with the settleage, this foundation does that. It's not that matte, okay? If you're looking for a super duper matte, stay all day type of foundation, that's not what this is. It is not a stay all day foundation. In the heat, it will start to get a little sheeny. Not shiny, but a little sheeny, okay? However, I really love the pour. Pour what? Child. I really love the pour perfecting abilities of this thing it did okay so you got a big old piece of hair just like chilling on your cheek you know what i'm saying like hello do you have to do it over again all right if you're oily you will need an oil mattifying type of prime primer underneath this look you better get you some of that becca matte whatever primer get you that get you that makeup forever mattifying step one primer get you that if you are oily okay because this is not a stay all day matte foundation it says it has a matte finish but it's warming up i'm not an oily person but if i wear this out in the heat i will get sheeny you know what i'm saying i will even though i set it you know what i mean and it does kind of like settle into fine lines if you have that issue you know if you don't have botox in your forehead or around your mouth or whatever or fillers if you don't have any of that and you know you have some little stuff happening like i do um you know you may get some settleage you know when it mixes in with the powder and all that type of thing it may happen you know what i'm saying so not to be fair part of that is because i used this concealer which is hella creamy you know as my highlight up there now had i used my um, la girl pro concealer or something like that a stay put type of concealer i wouldn't be having that issue up there but you guys saw i used this up here and um, so that's kind of like you know settling and doing what it does or whatever because of this this is you know excellent under the eyes i do like it under the eyes it's not my favorite it works 
it's cheap whatever if you want a creamier found it um no. if you want a creamier concealer you can try it but it's not going to stay put i prefer others over that okay i really do that's not my favorite thing but this foundation will definitely be in rotation for like a daily type of foundation in my lifestyle like i'm not doing the most so but just to like kind of look a little put together i'll throw some of this on because it's not doing too much and i probably won't even use a pump and a half i'll probably use like half a pump or maybe one pump and a lightly powder okay so for a drugstore foundation I say yes I'm very happy that um, you know I'm, I'm 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 always excited for a brand that represents brown skin tones and has a presence in the drugstore you know what I'm saying they're not everywhere because I, I can't even walk into a store where I live and get them which is sad because it should be just like Revlon and just like L'Oreal and CoverGirls everywhere this stuff should be everywhere you know I, it, maybe it's expensive to do that but you know it should be everywhere so everybody can have access to this type of thing so this is the first foundation demo in the series that I'm going to be doing for Black Opal because I have several others. The sticks, I'm going to do another I'm going to do another video with the foundation sticks. I did one, oh my god, so long ago with horrible lighting, horrible talking, horribleness, just horribleness. I was looking so busted too. Like, I can't believe people watched that video. Like you couldn't even see what I was doing. You couldn't even see the color of my skin. You couldn't even see the foundation, you know, what it was doing. How, you know, it was just, I can't believe it. I can't believe that people watched that video. Um, but that's it y'all. This is a yes. I say give it a shot. Let's thank you so much for watching. Thumbs up the video, you guys. It really, really does help to spread the spread the the love how about that spread the love spread the love okay